Righto, if you have a beautiful Mavic Air, let's check the battery charge, fully charged, that's great. Okay, got our controller here. I'm using a LG Stylus DAB. Right, wakey wakey, hands off snakey. And if you power this on, and it does this, I'll show you how to get rid of it. So I'm just going to power that down for a second. Okay, leave airplane mode on. So what you need to do, I'll just do that again. So you need to turn this on. Enter the device. Connect to the aircraft. Wired connection. Link. Okay. So connection is successful. But what you need to do is you need to go into the three dots up the top, ignore that, never update your database. And you need to go into the controller here, little controller. You need to go down to remote controller calibration. Now it says power off the aircraft, then calibrate the remote controller. So we'll do that. So you force this off. Okay, so the aircraft is now off. And now you go into, it says aircraft disconnected, go into the three dots. Press that. Go down to remote controller calibration. You can see all your calibrations there. Press calibrate. Start. Okay. And it's gone. And you've just got to go to uh, calibration and you're ready to go. Press that. Start it again. So we've just powered the aircraft back up. Remote controller connection error, which is fine. It just has to recalibrate. It doesn't do this all the time. And sometimes you'll get a compass error as well if there's too much magnetic interference. And sometimes you won't. If you have done this uh, stick calibration, and you see I've got the joysticks removed, uh, you'll, you may only have to do it one time out of five or one time out of 10. Okay, there we go, ready to go. So basically that's how you get rid of it. So it's blurry because I've got the, the, cam, uh, the cap on, and that is how you get rid of the beeping uh, error on startup on a Mavic Air. Thanks for watching.